Hey everyone, hope you're all having a lovely day today. Um, today I wanted to talk about basically the fact that we sin more than we think we do. Um, and I'm not saying this really quick, I promise I'm not saying this to condemn anybody or like put anyone in fear or anything like that, but rather it's just because on the last video that I posted, I made a video talking about how people who are gay, trans, LGBTQ, all that kind of stuff um, can absolutely be saved because one, all sin has already been paid for by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And two, because we receive salvation, not through works of our own, not by repenting of sins, not by trying to do good works, but rather just because Jesus by himself atoned for all of our sins. So we go to heaven by believing on him, like it says in Acts 16, 30-31. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, um, John 6, 39 through 40. It's all over scripture. The fact that Jesus Christ by himself atoned for all of our sins and that's how we're going to heaven. Um, but unfortunately, there are some people who either, one, don't want other people to be saved, two, think that they're doing something better than other people so that they should be more saved than them, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you're saved, you're saved. You're not like more saved than someone else and you're saved by grace through faith alone. Um, scripture makes that pretty clear, but I wanted to talk about the fact that we sin more than we think we do, um, so that people I'm hoping will realize that they can't trust in themselves and that they, the only hope they have is to literally trust in the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ. A atoning sacrifice means that that sin is covered for, it's paid for, it's done. Anyway, um, here's the thing. So we're all obviously guilty of sin. Everyone here has an F, um, and like it says in James, if you're guilty of offending one part of the law, you're guilty of offending the whole thing. Um, and I noticed that a lot of people like to, again, pick and choose what sins they view as worse than others. Um, you know, sin is sin, period. Like it says in James, like I literally just said two seconds ago, guilty of one, guilty of all of them. Um, but again, people like to cherry pick and usually the ones that people specifically harp on, you know, like we said before, LGBTQ, that one in particular, everyone just loves to harp on that one. Um, but a lot of ones that I see being ignored are um, debate, which I feel like a ton of people do all the time, always, you know, you see it all the time here on YouTube, you know, everyone arguing, you know, X, Y, Z, you know, and it, it it's, that's something, you know, like if you're going to harp on one sin, you have to harp on all of them. Um, and again, I'm not trying to condemn anybody or point the finger at anybody. Rather, this is just simply to help you realize how much you fall short so that you realize that you only have the finished work of Christ to rely on for salvation. Um, but debate, um, you know, so arguing, gossiping, um, you know, covetousness, there's so many more sins. That's what, like, here's the thing. Sin is in our very flesh. You know, you don't make atonement for sins by repenting of them. Repenting of sins does not make atonement for sins. Jesus Christ, school bus going by, but it's August, wait, wait it's, it's August 1st. Why is there, it's probably for camp. Um, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Um, but anyway, uh, the thing is that, you know, repenting of sins does not make atonement for them. We need a sacrifice for sins. And as it says in Hebrews, Jesus Christ is the one sin for all sacrifice for sin, which means that that sin has already been paid for. Um, so, you know, the sin issue has already been dealt with. And again, the thing with repenting of sins is that that's something that we should do after salvation. That's the thing is that I think people think that because I say that we don't repent of sins to be saved, therefore that means do whatever you want. But at the same time, we should be living for God just to live for God. That's the thing is that people cannot get it through their heads. Sorry, someone's walking their dog and those dogs are really cute. Um, <laughs> uh, people just don't understand that you can do the right thing just simply because it's the right thing to do. You don't need the threat of hellfire or the reward of eternal life, which eternal life is not a reward, it's a free gift, to do good things. You could, you, you, you know, we do good works after we're saved because we love the Lord, because we are grateful that he saved us, you know? And the thing is that after you are saved, you know, a lot of times you won't want to do something that's against God's will. You know, are there people who are going to do whatever they want and who are, you know, yeah, people are, but we're in to, we're supposed to encourage one another to life. We're supposed to help a brother if he's overtaken by a sin. You know, we're not supposed to be condemning. We're not supposed to be threatening them. Like, again, we're supposed to encourage one another 
to walk in newness of life. And that looks different for everybody. Holy freaking crow. Again, because the problem is that people are, again, ignoring God's righteousness and going to about to establish their own. They People have an idea of what they want people to do. And so if they are not me measuring up to their standards, then they freak out. And that's what I feel like I'm seeing a lot of. Um, and that's what you just see a lot of on YouTube and normal life. That's just kind of what happens. Um, but again, we need to stop, you know, thinking about what we want to see happen and think about what God wants to see happen. And again, obviously, yes, we should all be trying to walk in newness of life, encourage one another. We should be repenting of sins, but that doesn't affect our salvation. Oh my goodness. How can it? Repenting of sins doesn't make atonement for them. Sin requires atonement. And again, when people say, you know, after you're saved, you better be doing this, you better be doing that, or else, I need to remind you, it's not for him that willeth or for him that runneth but on God that showeth mercy. I need to do a whole video just on that because people, again, seem to think that like it's about trying to be good or, you know, trying to not sin. Every other like world religion is about like, how much are you doing? And again, the whole point with our faith of Christianity is that we acknowledge that no matter what, we will never be enough. Again, sin is in our fl very flesh and flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. It, that, that's why this um, imperfection needs to put on perfection. Um, so anyway, I really hope this video helps whoever needed to hear this. I thought I had more to talk about. I probably do. And that's why I have been making videos a lot more frequently and plan on it. Um, because I just, it, oh my gosh, there's just so much on YouTube. And I feel like I'm being reminded of how much, like, Lordship Salvation Deception is, like, on the internet. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's so simple. We need to get back to the fact that salvation is simple. Again, spiritual growth, absolutely. We should all be doing it. But salvation first, people. And salvation is, again, just the free gift of eternal life paid for in full. In full by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I really hope this helps whoever needed to hear this. This is not to condemn anyone. Rather, again, I'm just trying to let you know we sin so much more than we actually think. I should have had my Bible with me and I could have just like listed off all these things that it says. Oh, disobedient to parents. Oh my gosh, that's a whole nother one. Like, if you think you've never disobeyed your parent, you've never been a teenager before. I mean, come on. Like, but anyway, and again, this is not me trying to condone any sin or downplay any sin. Rather, it's just to show you how much we sin to magnify Christ. Um, but anyway, like I've said probably three times already, I hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you guys all have a lovely day. Um, and obviously, if you guys ever need to reach out, don't ever hesitate to reach out to my email um, or my Instagram, which I will link them both in the description box because it is 740... 9, 750, 751. I'm reading this, how long this video has been for. Um, but like I said, obviously, if you ever have any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns, whatever, don't hesitate to reach out um, or follow Instagram if you guys feel so inclined to do so. If you guys have any prayer requests, also definitely leave those down below. I'm also wearing a long sleeve today. Um, it's August 1st, like I just said, with that freaking school bus going by. Um, eh, but the office is so cold and it rained last night, so I'm, like, so happy I can finally wear, like, a long sleeve. I originally had a sweater on before, but then I was like, mm, I'll save this for tomorrow because I had a short sleeve shirt underneath it. And I was like, oh, I can, like, drive to work in my short sleeve so I'm not, like, dying in the car because my AC doesn't work. Um, and then when I actually get to work, then I can just put my sweater on. So I'm going to do that tomorrow when it's a lot more hot or it's a lot hotter. Um, and today I just thought I'd wear this because it's pretty thin. Um, but anyway, that's not important. <laughs> Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, and as always, have a lovely rest of your day and God bless.